Oh, hey, Professor Ginger. Hey, Axel. Hey, Henny. Are you guys ready to help make our subtraction stories video? All right, let's go. In this video, we're going to act out some subtraction stories using some of your favorite things. We're going to take some of your favorite things away from the group and then draw a picture and write a subtraction sentence to see how many are left. All right, let's start with Hanny. You're up. All right, Hanny. You have four little tennis balls. When all of a sudden... Oh, hold on, I gotta take this call. Don't move, okay? Hold on. All right, guys, I'm back. It was just a call about my car's extended warranty. <sighs> hey, wait a second. Wait, Hanny, you had four tennis balls. Wait, what happened, Scholars? Did you see what happened? Really, Ginger? <coughs> hmm. All right, well, even though Professor Ginger interrupted our subtraction story, we can still draw a picture and write a number sentence to show how many are left. Let's go. Scholars, grab something to write with. All right, scholars. Do you have something to write with? Okay, it's okay if you don't have something to write with, as long as you're following along and helping me solve the problem. All right, here we go. Hanny had four little tennis balls. So I'm gonna draw four circles on our easel there. All right, there are our four little tennis balls. Now, Professor Ginger snuck over and took some while I was on the phone. How many tennis balls did Professor Ginger take? Right, she took two. So I'm going to cross two of those circles off. How many tennis balls did Hanny have left? Right, she had two left, just like on our picture there. Let's write our number sentence now. How many tennis balls did Hanny start with? Good, four. Then Ginger snuck over and took two tennis balls away. Now because she took those tennis balls away, we're going to use a minus sign to show subtraction. We're going to write minus two. She took two balls. We crossed two off. All right, now when I came back from my phone call, how many tennis balls were left? Right, two. Just like in our picture there, there are two tennis balls still there that are not crossed off. So we're gonna write equals two. There we go. Let's read that number sentence together. Four minus two equals two. Four little tennis balls take away two tennis balls equals two tennis balls left. All right. Axel, it's your turn. Okay, Axel, it's your turn. You have five cat treats. A very hungry cat. Oh guys, hold on, that's the doorbell. I gotta go see who it is. Don't move, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back guys. It was just a package for Hanny. We're good. Wait a second. Wait a second, Axel, you had five cat treats there. What happened to the rest? Scholars, did you see what happened to the rest of those cat treats? Ginger, did you eat those cat treats? Oh man. All right, it's okay. We can still make a subtraction story. Draw a picture and write a subtraction sentence to show how many are left. All right, scholars, come on. Grab something to write with. Here we go, scholars. Do you have something to write with? All right, it's okay if you don't have anything to write with. You can still follow along and help say the answers. All right, Axel had five cat treats. So I'm going to draw five circles there on the easel. All right, when I was answering the door, how many cat treats did Professor Ginger eat? Yeah, she ate three of them. 
So what I'm going to do is cross three of those cat treats out. And when I came back from answering the door, there were two cat treats left. Just like in our picture there, there are two cat treats left that are not crossed off. Let's write our number sentence together. Axel had five cat treats to start with, so I'm going to write the number five. Professor Ginger was naughty, and she came along and ate three of those cat treats. Because she ate them, she took them away, right? We're going to use a minus sign to show that we are subtracting. I'm going to write minus three because she ate three, just like we crossed off three right there. And when I came back from answering the door, there were two cat treats left. Just like in our picture there, there are two circles without an X on them. So I'm going to write equals two. Good job, scholars. Let's read that number sentence together. Five minus three equals two. Five cat treats minus three cat treats that Ginger ate equals two cat treats left. All right, Ginger, it's your turn. Here we go, Ginger, you're up. All right, Ginger, you have six tennis balls. All of a sudden, a gust of wind comes up. Hold on, hold on, that's the oven timer. Our dinner's ready. Let me go turn it off and I'll be right back. Don't move. All right, I'm back. Dinner smells so good. Wait a second. Ginger, your tennis balls have moved. And you had six. What happened? Scholars, did you see what happened? Ginger, did you take some of those tennis balls? <coughs> yeah. Oh, we didn't get to finish the story. All right, that's okay we can still make a subtraction story about the ones that you took. We can draw a picture and write a subtraction sentence to show how many are left. All right, scholars, get something to write with. All right, scholars, do you have something to write with? All right, it's okay if you don't, as long as you follow along and help say the answers. Ginger had six tennis balls, so I'm going to draw six circles there up on the easel. The oven timer dinged, so I went over to turn off the oven and take care of dinner. How many tennis balls did Professor Ginger take away? Yeah, she took away three tennis balls, so I'm going to cross off three of those circles there. When I came back out after taking care of dinner, the tennis balls had moved and there were three left. Just like in our picture there, there are three circles without an X on them. Let's go ahead and write our number sentence. Ginger started with six tennis balls, so I'm going to write the number six. While I was inside, Ginger took three of those tennis balls away, just like we crossed off three of those tennis balls in the picture. Now, because she took those tennis balls away, I'm going to use a minus sign to show subtraction. I'm going to write minus three. And when I came back out and saw that the, the tennis balls had been moved, there were three left, just like those three circles up there without the X on them. So I'm going to write equals three to show that there were three left. Okay, scholars, let's read that number sentence together. Six minus three equals three. Ginger had six tennis balls. She took three of them away, and she had three left. Great job, pets. We just told three great subtraction stories. Thanks, Professor Ginger. Thanks, Axel. Thanks, Annie, for helping us make our subtraction stories video. And even though Professor Ginger was a little sneaky and kept taking things away before we had a chance to tell the story, it still worked out, 
and we were still able to draw a picture and use a subtraction sentence to find out how many things were left. Good job, guys.